Hey everyone, Mecky LT here. Uh, hope you're all are having a fantastic day and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Uh, so my mining farm is getting to the point where I need to start worrying about heat extraction. And I was watching one of Ch Chump Change XD's videos about a week ago where he bought a couple of these uh, exhaust fans right here. And in another video that he posted uh, but a few days after that initial one, he questioned whether or not these things can actually push the 1800 CFM that they claim they can. So what I'm going to do in this video is uh, run some tests and plug in my measured values that I get from testing into some formulas. And I'm going to compare it against the manufacturer's values that they say they're capable of uh, getting. So before I cut out of this, uh, I just want to mention that this is a 12 inch fan. They claim they can get 1800 CFM and they claim that it can push a velocity of 10.5 meters per second. So let's uh, cut into my testing videos and we'll take a look at uh, whether or not these values are actually feasible or not. All right, you guys, I'm in the basement. I've got the exhaust fan set up. I've got coffee in hand to stimulate the brain. So let's get to some testing. So the first thing that I want to talk about is uh, the setup of the exhaust fan itself. So you can see that it's actually upside down right now. So that way the shutter fans are hanging open. And the reason that I did this is so that way um, the shutter fans aren't restricting the airflow and I'm going to have maximum airflow coming out of the fan itself versus if it was flipped around the other way uh, the way that it's supposed to be the shutter fans would be closed and the air f would be uh, opening up the fans and it'd be restricting the airflow and uh, I'll be using an anometer to measure the velocity of the air coming out of the fan I've got the fan turned on and the first thing that I want to test is going to be the maximum velocity. So let's see if uh, I can get the camera to pick this up here. It's actually pretty simple, you just hit the uh, max button right here. I can see that it's maxed and what I'm going to do is just move this around in a uniform motion around the fan. So right now, I've got a max velocity of about 6.5 meters per second. It just bumped up to about 6.7. I'm probably going to end up going around this one more time. One thing I want to mention is that the air velocity picks up as you get to the outside diameter of the fan and as I move it towards the center like right now the velocity is going to drop all right so I've got a max of about 6.7 I'm going to call that the number right there the next test that I want to do is going to be looking at the average velocity coming out of this so I hit the average button right here. You see it's pulling average. And I'm gonna use the same uniform motion that I uh, used in the last test. And I'm just gonna move this around nice and slow. And the reason that I wanna look at the average is because as I already talked about, towards the middle of the fan, the velocity coming out of it is slower. So it would be unrealistic to use the maximum velocity coming out um, of the outside edges where there's an entire area towards the middle that's not pushing that same velocity. So I've got an average of about 5.4. As I go towards the middle, it's dropping down to about 5.1, 5.0. 
towards the outside. Let's go on back up. We're at about 5.5, 5 5.6, 5.5, 5.2. So probably go around one more time. And I'm gonna call it about 5.2 because it bounces around a little bit between 5.6 and a little bit under 5 as I went towards the middle. Now that I've got my measured values from testing, the next thing I want to do is pop them into the formula, and then I'll be able to compare what I ended up getting from the testing, and I can compare it against what the manufacturer claims they can get out of these fans, which is 1800 CFM. So before I get into that, first thing I want to do is pop in the velocity and the area that was listed on Amazon. So if you remember, the area listed was 12 inches, which in this case is going to be one foot. And then the velocity they claim they can get what is 10.5 uh, meters per second. So to calculate CFM or volumetric flow rate, they're the same exact thing. It's just the area of the fan times the velocity coming out of it. So the formula for the area of the fan is pi times diameter squared divided by four. We'll pop in one foot and we get 0.785 square feet. And then velocity is going to be the 10.5 meters per second. And I'm going to convert it to feet per second and then convert it to feet per minute. And the reason why I do that is because square footage times feet per minute gives us the units of cubic feet per minute or CFM. So popping these two values into our volumetric flow rate formula, we end up getting 1622.6 CFM. So this already is not a good start from the manufacturer because they claim they can get 1800 CFM and the value they listed for the velocity that their fan is capable of pushing is 10.5 meters per second. So it's already almost 200 uh, CFM lower than what they say is capable of doing. So let's next look at uh, the values that I ended up testing. So the first one I'm going to go over is the maximum velocity. The equations are all going to be the exact same. The only difference is going to be the velocity that I pop in which would be 6.7 meters per second. Again, do a unit conversion to feet per second, and then another unit conversion to feet per minute. And what I ended up getting was a CFM of 1,035.3 cubic feet per minute. So this is a little bit more than a half of 1,800, um, which, again, that's pretty atrocious. But um, the next value that we end up looking at they're going to be the average CFM and it's going to end up actually being lower than what I just calculated for the max, which makes sense because the velocity that I got for an average is about 5.2 and popping it into the equation, we get 803.5 cubic feet per minute. So this is much less than half of what the manufacturer claims they can get. And, uh, uh, my numbers are kind of all over the place on this. So I ended up wanting to do a gut check on it. So what I did was I looked at AC Infinity's website. Uh, these guys are pretty reputable. And I ended up looking at their 12 inch shutter fan. And um, if you look in the bottom right hand corner of the picture right here, they claim they can get an airflow of 830 CFM out of their 12 inch fan. So this is actually pretty comparable to the 803.5 that I calculated with the average velocity coming out of the fan that I got off Amazon. So um, a couple of the things I want to mention is uh, the power usage. AC Infinity says they pull 54 watts at the wall, and I didn't include this in my testing clips, but the fan that I have pulls 50 watts at the wall. And I think chump change was around 
the same value, plus or minus a few watts or something like that. But without getting into like and um, like motor design and stuff like that, for you know the the diameters on these fans are the same, and their wattage that they're pulling is about the same. So I can't imagine that their motor designs are vastly different. Therefore, I don't think that the uh, rate at which these things are spinning is really much different. And I mean, that that can affect how much uh, velocity comes out of a fan. Of course, the faster that a spin is going to have a higher velocity. But the fact that they're pulling the same wattage, uh, don't really think that's the case. And really the only other variable is going to be the design of the fans themselves. But I don't really think that this manufacturer has a crazy design going on uh, that would make it so much better that it gets over twice the airflow of what an AC infinity can push. So um, with all that said, we'll go and ooh, we'll go and look at a uh, summary of all the values. Again, manufacturer claims they can push 1800. I calculated with my average velocity coming out of the fan, 803.5, which is less than half of the manufacturer's claim. And it's actually approximately the same as AC Infinity. So my guess is uh, these are, you know, th there's probably a little bit of testing error in, in uh, the test that I did, but I can't imagine there's so much error that it would be vastly different than what the AC Infinity is capable of pushing. So it's probably, you know, I think what I, what I tested is pretty correct. And uh, with all that said, I'm going to uh, return these fans and I'm actually going to move to a uh, 14 inch fan. I'll probably end up getting an AC Infinity 14 inch and then I'll get a 14 inch fan from uh, this current manufacturer and um, I'll compare them against each other and see how well they do. And uh, if the, the manufacturer that I currently have, if their fan is comparable to the AC Infinity, then I'll return the AC Infinity and buy another one. Um, but this pretty much sums up this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if I missed anything in my testing or if I'm completely wrong or whatever. But um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Help me grow my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.